I'll quickly show you how to modify the shadow and highlight tonal regions of your images, both in the main photo persona and when developing RAW files in the develop persona. Let's start with the photo persona first. So I've just opened up a JPEG file here, and as we can see, the subject is quite underexposed. So what we can do is go to filters and choose shadows highlights here. Okay, so on the dialog, we have two options pertaining to the shadow detail strength and range. If we bring strength up, it boosts shadow detail. If we bring it down, it decreases or crushes the shadow detail. Shadow's range controls the overall range of shadow tones to actually affect. So if we bring this up to 100%, it's affecting more of the shadow tones. If we bring it down, it affects fewer of the shadow tones. Now the same principle applies to highlights. So I can actually boost the highlights by moving the slider to 100% or I can reduce them. Now in the case of this image, the highlights aren't very strong so I actually need to tweak highlights range and bring that to 100 before I start to see any meaningful effect with the strength slider. So as we can see, as I boost strength, we're brightening the highlights, but equally I can just dim them right down as well. And that produces quite a flat image, so personally that doesn't work for me. But with different types of images, you'll be able to get quite a lot of mileage out of these four sliders. Now, before I apply, I'm going to actually cancel that and just quickly show you that we have a live filter layer equivalent as well, located on the layer menu here. So that performs exactly the same as the destructive filter, except if we move to the Layers panel, it's now applied as a layer, so we can hide it, we can mask it, and manipulate it, and also go back to it non-destructively. So if I do some further editing, I can just double-click that filter and get back into my settings and tweak them. Okay, let's cover the RAW development then. So I'll switch across to that exact same image, but in its RAW format. All we have here on the basic panel is this shadows and highlights option, so we just check that to enable it. And then it functions much the same way, so we can boost shadow detail, and we can either recover highlight detail, or we can boost highlight detail as well. So there we go, just two quick ways to modify the shadow and highlight regions of your images.